Hi my crochet friend, welcome back to another video. I am a little bit sick so excuse my voice for a moment and let's just focus on what I'm going to show you how to crochet today. So this is what I'm going to show you. This is a crochet edging and people use this for many different things in many different ways. You can use to decorate your tea towel for example or your shower towel <laughs> uh, you can just sew at the bottom and you will have the perfect edging so for those things for the towels you want to use a cotton yarn but for everything else you can use any yarn that you want acrylic wool this one is acrylic and i am using for my last christmas decoration and you not believe but this is nearly four meters long look at this it's like an infinity edging. It's three meters and a half long. How incredible is that? And I'm going to be sharing with you Friday, this Friday, so stay tuned if you want to see that. So if you want to add this to the hemming of your jeans, you can. For example, if you want to add to the hemming of your top, for example, here for the cuffs, you can do that as well. Also, you can do for the bottom of the cardigan, the jumper. Imagine how cute that would look. Also, you can use this for table runners. You can add this to the sides of the table runner and then you will have the super cute little detail in crochet. My grandma used to decorate her entire house using this, even pillowcases. She used to just add to it to add a little decor. So there are many different ways that you can use this for. You have to believe me. <laughs> so yeah, this is the design I'm going to share with you guys in today's video. I hope you like it. It's pretty quick, pretty easy to do. So grab your coffee, your tea, and now let's begin. So you can use any type of yarn you want. I am using here a weight four iron yarn, and this is a 100% acrylic, a five millimeters crochet hook, a small pair of scissors, and lastly, a tapestry needle so that we can fasten off and weave in. So leave a nice tail for the weave in. I leave about 15 centimeters or so. Work a slip knot. And then chain 13. So once you have your chain of 13, we can now begin row one. So we are going to be working a double crochet into the third chain. So skip the first one, second, and then work your first double crochet into the third chain. The chain two that we have at the beginning will count as a stitch. And now work one double crochet into the next two chains. Now chain one, skip a chain work a double crochet into the following one and then work double crochets all the way down and we are going to be having seven double crochets into the other side right after the chain one space So here we have row one. So we have four stitches on this side, chain one and seven stitches on this other side. So now to go up, chain one, turn project. The chain one does not count as a stitch. If you want, you can also ch chain two or three and skip the very first stitch. But I like to, to do this little trick at the beginning so that my edges are a little bit straighter. You can see how pretty this look with this method that I use. So that's what I do. I chain one at the beginning. And then into this very first stitch, I work a double crochet, just like so. And then I'm going to double crochet into the next four stitches. So here I'm going to be having five double crochets at the beginning. So four and five. Now we are going to chain three and then we are going to single crochet into the chain one space. Chain three 
And now we are going to work four double crochets into that chain two that we left at the beginning, not into the space. You want to choose one little stitch right at the end. That second chain or the very first chain that you can find. So go into that chain. You can see that one and work four double crochets into the same chain space. Can be any stitch really here in the corner so four double crochets into that same stitch so now chain three turn project and work three double crochets into that same stitch right at the beginning So as you can see, we are starting to create the little shells at the bottom of the edging to create this little shell bottom right here. So now chain three, single crochet into the next three chain space, chain three, single crochet into the following chain three space chain three and three double crochets into the last three stitches so you're going to be skipping the first double crochet the second double crochet into the third double crochet work a double crochet and then the following one the following stitch work a double crochet and then into the last stitch work a double crochet so one double crochet into the last three stitches just like so you can see that the design here it's already forming so pretty so now chain one this is row four now turn project and then double crochet into the very first stitch now double crochet into the following two stitches And then double crochet into the next chain space. So just find that very first chain and work a double crochet into that chain. So now chain three and single crochet into the middle chain three space. So we have the first one, skip the first one and single crochet into the following one. So now chain three and work four double crochets into the very first double crochet stitch that you can find. So skip the chain three and four double crochets into the next stitch. this is how it looks like so pretty I love this so now chain one turn project skip the very first stitch and slip stitch into the next three stitches so what we are going to be doing now we are going to be creating right here the same amount of stitches and the same style that we have into the very first row so that we can repeat rows two, three and four again. So first we are going to be chaining three and working into the last stitch where you've done the last slip stitch in which is the last double crochet of this little group of four. So work into that stitch three double crochets. There we go, you can see that we already have the four stitches at the beginning as we have here for row one. So now chain one. So now we have to skip the next chain space, the three chain space, the single crochet, and then into this second chain space, into the third chain, we are going to be working three double crochets. So insert your hook into that 
last chain of this chain three space. Make sure that you get two loops of this chain. Just gonna go under it like so. So make sure that you get two loops as you can see. And then into this one work three double crochets. So now all you have to do is to finish it off with double crochets all the way down. So one double crochet into the last four stitches. Here is the last one. So as you can see, we have now row five exactly the same as row one. So we have the four stitches at the beginning, the chain one and the seven stitches on this other side. So all we have to do now is to repeat rows two, three, four, and five right on top of row five. So I'm going to be doing the next four with you guys so you know exactly what you have to do. So let's, let's continue. So chain one, turn project and work one double crochet into the next five stitches. chain three and single crochet into the chain one chain three and work four double crochets into that third chain so we have a chain three here so work four double crochets into the third chain So as you can see, we did exactly as row two. So now for row seven, chain three, turn project and work three double crochets into that very first stitch. Chain three and single crochet into the next chain three space, chain three, and single crochet into the following chain three space, like so. Now chain three, skip two double crochet stitches, and then work one double crochet into the last three stitches. So now for row eight, chain one, turn project, double crochet into the very first stitch, and then double crochet into the next two stitches, and double crochet into the very first chain of this very first chain three space. Make sure that you get two loops of that chain. Double crochet. Now chain three and single crochet into the middle chain three space, this one. Chain three, skip the next chain three space and work four double crochets into the very first double crochet stitch. So now here we have row eight. So now for row nine, we are doing exactly the same as we did for row five. So chain one, turn project, skip the first stitch, and then slip stitch into the next three stitches. Now chain three, 
and into the same stitch where you've done the last slip stitch, work three double crochets. So now chain one, you're going to be skipping the next chain three space, the single crochet, and then into the next, the following chain three space, you're going to be skipping the first two chains and then working three double crochets into that third chain. Make sure that you also get two loops of that chain and into that chain work three double crochets. And now finish it off with one double crochet into the last four stitches. So as you can see, we are now done with the next section and all you have to do is to repeat rows 6, 7, 8 and 9 until you have the sizing of the edging that you want. So right after you finish this last row of the sequence, you are going to be starting again from this point, from row 6 right here. And then you're going to be repeating six, seven, eight, nine, six, seven, eight, nine, until you have the sizing that you want for the, for the edging that you are doing. You can see that it's super simple, super easy. And this pattern actually gets in your head and you will remember it forever because it's so pretty and so easy. And I love how we work sideways, but then at the end we can just flip it to the right position in which is like this. And it looks incredible as you can see. And once you are done with the many sequences you want to do, you can now cut off the yarn and fasten off. For this one, I'm going to have to count, but I'm not sure how many sequences I did. Let's count. Oh my goodness, for this one, I've done 60 sequences of this pattern. Imagine how long this is. It's incredible. And also here, I wanted to show you this one I've done with a DK yarn, acrylic as well, and this one with a Naran yarn, and you can see the difference. So if you use a thinner yarn than a DK, then you will have this edging even smaller. So let me measure for you. So with the Aran yarn, it's measuring 11 and a half centimeters, and with the DK yarn, it's measuring seven and a half centimeters, as you guys can see. So you can see the difference between them. So once you are done, you can go ahead and cut off your yarn. I leave about 15 centimeters or so, usually. Yeah, about 15 centimeters, that's what I leave. <laughs> and now once you cut off the yarn, you can chain one, fasten off. And now we can weave in together and to weave in I simply thread this yarn into my tapestry needle and because we have finished at the top and this is going to be for every single one that you do because you're always going to finish at the top this is going to be your right side and then the other side is going to be your reverse so to weave in, simply move this yarn to where you have some stitches. I have the double crochets here. And now when I get to the double crochets, I'm just gonna go through a couple of stitches here at the back of the double crochets. I go through four double crochets. Then I go through those stitches skip the first one, go back into those same stitches, skip the very first loop and then go back into those same stitches one last time and that's it. So now I can cut off this yarn and repeat the same to the one at the top, or well, the other side. And this is how you crochet this stunning edging so I have the red one here that I'm going to show you what I'm going to be doing Friday and the little swatch that I did with you guys. And I just want to show you 
how it looks at the bottom of a bath set that I bought. So I bought this one that I want to do something for you guys. So stay tuned because it's coming up soon. I just want to show you quickly how it looks at the bottom of the hand towel. So let me show you. So let's imagine if I had right here some red roses embroidered or some kind of like a red embroidery detail. Then we would add this at the bottom right here. You can add actually here if you want, or you can add right at the edge like this. Oh my goodness, this looks so good. Imagine also with some crochet going around the towel as well with the embroidery here. Oh my goodness, that would look stunning. So this is an example of what you can do and it would look incredible. And for this towel that I have, I would need to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sequences only. So you can see how quick this is to make and for you to gift this to someone, imagine how special this gift would be with a hand towel and a bath towel. And you can also gift this to like a couple as well, to maybe your mom and your dad with the names embroidered. My goodness, that would look stunning. I can't, so many ideas coming up with this little edging. And also Friday, you guys will love what I have coming up Friday. So this is how you crochet this super stunning edging. I really hope you have enjoyed. And if you end up using this for anything that you are planning on doing, don't forget to tag me on Instagram, on TikTok, at Bruna Ticality, so that I can see your take. All right, and what you're going to be doing as well. So thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope you have enjoyed. Don't forget to leave your massive thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can watch more videos like this one. So thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.